Receive and heal the garden. We got um, res resurrection, embrace new life. Beautiful, right? And we got onward steps. Keep going, okay? The, the journey is never done, right? It's about, it's about the journey, not the destination. See how there's like no end to that? Just keep going. All right. Um, check this out here. Do this one. Okay. What is this about, please, Spirit? For the collective here? For the highest and best good. What is the message? So we got the 11th house, it's like your friends, your associations, okay, freedom. Um, and we got personal power, the 8th house, mysteries of life, and a major change, okay, that's major change. So with the resurrection card, you got, you healed, you've gone through a transformation, okay, and now it's just keep going, basically, all right? Child wounded and hero, okay? Could be healing from stuff that happened as a kid. All right, childhood stuff, all right? Someone's a hero or a hero heroine. Yeah, and it came out again. It says, um, passion for a journey of personal empowerment, okay? Yeah. Avenger. It says, a desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. All right. So things mean being made balanced. All right. When it comes to this, and we got a vampire here. It says, makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So, energy vampire, okay? It says, learning to transcend nature of service to oneself or a cause. Okay? So, this is like ascending. Learning to transcend nature of service to oneself or a cause. Yep. And then we get hedonist. It says, inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. And detective, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. In the bottom of the deck, we have a rebel. And it says, challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Change, all right? Um, yeah. All right, where do I want to go now? Let's see. It's a message, please. I'm gonna, I feel like that's a message in itself, but something's been purified, your energy, okay? Uh, uh, also, it could be, and it's raining right now, so it's the rain, all right? So water is very cleansing. Um, emergence, so you could have got this. I'm picking up transformation and rebirth, okay? Instinct. Your intuition, um, how you act on things. All right. What else? What else? Perspective, wake up call, harmony. Okay, so someone's had a wake up call and crystals, focus. Bottom of the deck is vulnerability. Okay, meadows. Something significant about the spring. Okay, it's right here. It's right around the corner. 
Yeah, someone's gone through a wake-up call with tsunami here. All right, something something happened that kind of like popped somebody into awakening. Um, like usually we're woken up, but like some people were pushed out of the bed, the shades were pulled, the blankets ripped off, lights turned on. Okay, some of us were woke up that way. All right, from a certain situation. Okay, because then you wake up and it takes time to like fully awaken. Right? Are we ever really fully awake though? Right? Um, it's yeah, we're, we wake up. Um, perspective and harmony. Music is significant, all right? So you could be looking at things differently now when it comes to life. Uh, it's important that you focus. You may want to work with crystals, all right? Someone's very good with crystals, all right? Mm. Okay, and we got exchanging gifts and breathe. Breath work. Uh, meditation, all right, calming oneself down, um, tapping in, all right, what's the message, what else do we need to hear, for the collective that's watching, please, for their highest and best good, what do they need to know, so someone's remaining poised, calm, collective, all right, You could be 48. All right. Um, truth be told. And we got Unfinished Symphony. So something's not over. This could have to do with music. You could be writing a song or writing something. Um, doesn't have to be music, um, but I'm picking up on the piano here. All right. So you could be speaking the truth about something or receiving the truth. I'm picking up on like the hermit energy. It could be about um, your family or a friend's group, your tribe. All right, maybe you're searching for your tribe, like the people who you resonate with. Yes, yeah, so someone could be watching you and they're seeing that you're doing things by the book. All right, clean it up and thinker. So, clean up your thoughts because our thoughts create our reality. So, you could be um, thinking a lot of some negative thoughts, wondering why something happened to you. It happened for you, not to you, okay? So whatever you're going through, you need to remain flexible, okay? Adaptable um, to navigate through whatever you're going through. Just breathe, okay? Someone could be going through a difficult time right now, exchanging gifts. Your ancestors are helping you out, okay? You could be receiving um, gifts from, like, your pets or, like, from the other side. Your ancestors can use pets, all right, um, doesn't have to be that, but flow and intuition. So someone's intuition is blocked. It was upside down or it was in the past or someone is trying to block your intuition. All right. Someone's extraordinary. All right. Uh, we got extraordinary. We got humility. Humility. Okay, so humbling yourself, all right? We got the owl came out again, so someone's very wise or someone's being humbled. Okay, that's what I'm picking up with this guy right here. He's being humbled, okay? So you could be receiving um, some information that's humbling you, okay? The black cat here, this is good luck, all right? It says, once you're on earth and long enough lifetimes, um, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. The bring mm, they bring peace of God and something's happening right now. You may want to meditate right now. You may have a message coming through. Okay. Reframe. It says this is happening for me, not to me. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay. Trust. It says allow me divine to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. So there, my guides are showing you guys that, like, I don't need these cards. I still get the message. And detachment came out. So detach from things. Um, it's important, right? To it's Especially from toxic things like drinking or smoking or people, okay? It's, it's important to not be attached to anything codependency. All right, um, detach, do things for yourself. Then nobody can really like hold you back from living your true, your true life that you deserve. All right. 
I'm picking up on um, enabling. Someone could be enabling you. Um, they could be feeding you things that you might want to stop doing. I'm picking up on that. All right. So this could be for somebody. All right. Let's see. Let's pull, um, let me pull some of these cards. No, let's do these. All right. So what is the message with the tarot? I love when the cards just confirm what I'm feeling or, or, the, or like thinking or saying. That's so funny. It's ha something's happening for you, not to you. Okay. You could be wondering why it's for your growth, for your benefit, because spirit knows your potential. Okay. And it's time for you to um, get on your journey. This is for somebody specific. All right. Yeah. Boss daddy. Okay. Someone could be stable, rich, a CEO. Okay. You could be getting an offer from a, a boss daddy, or you could be this boss daddy about to give somebody an offer. Someone who has fake smiles, all right? So someone might not be interested in this offer because they're always partying. Or someone say you were always partying or whatever this is. You could be this business, this business person, a jackpot. I don't know what this is. Someone's always partying. So someone with fake smiles could be always partying. This could be someone you were dealing with or are dealing with, all right? You're about to hit the jackpot, though. Someone could be Carlos. Someone, someone has big dick energy. All right? That's what it says. So, okay. All right. Now I got it. Someone is coming in to make you an offer. This You're going to get a lot of fake smiles from people. This is like jealousy under those fake smiles. Okay? This could be from somebody who always parties. It's because you hit the jackpot. You're getting ready to travel. Okay? Someone could be getting ready to go on vacation. And someone could be stalking someone. Right, this is someone stalking someone. Okay. Someone's traveling to stalk you. All right. They could be traveling to you. All right. They're crying over you. All right. Because they know this is coming in. Romantic love affair. All right. Sex split. Sex fix. Secret lover. So this could be an emperor energy. All right. All right. Wasting time. No changes. So someone could feel like this is a waste of time or same shit, different day. Right. Nothing's changed. Someone's still always partying. Okay. Bad, and they have a bad reputation, this person. Okay. Okay. Creativity. Someone um, steals your ideas, all right, and you're unbothered by this because no one can duplicate your energy. So they can steal your ideas or steal your whatever and um, try to use it for their own, but that's, um, they can't, they can't duplicate your energy, your essence. This could be a love triangle, a third party situation. Someone's having legal issues because of this now, okay? So someone could be acting like a boss daddy, or someone could just be balling. They could have just got their taxes back, and they're acting like um, big shit, okay? I'm picking that up for somebody, all right? So someone's going to make you an offer or make someone else an offer, all right? This could go many different ways, so I feel like it's going to resonate a little different for everybody. If someone's clout hungry, all right? And they're um, not very strategic, I feel like you can read them like a book, so you move moving in silence, okay? People could be screenshotting stuff or dirt digging <laughs> and a dirty offer because they want to, um, yeah, and a photo. <sighs> Someone wants to blackmail somebody, okay? That's what I'm picking up. Okay, or they're trying to fake flexing. Like I said, someone could have got their taxes back or someone could be balling with your money, um, and they're talking shit because of the way you shine. They don't like it. Yeah, you're unfazed still. And these people are threatened by that because you're unbothered. All right? They're trying to aggravate you. Don't let it bother you. People are petty. All right? I just I want to say that right now. We got a lot of petty people out there that um, no time is up. The gig is up. All right? 14.34 on the timer. Okay. So, I don't know what this is. Someone could be a CEO, a businessman, all right? Or this could be your energy, male or female, like boss energy, all right? Page of Pentacles. So, 
someone was offered, um, someone offered somebody money to steal from you, or someone stole from a child. Yeah, there's a lot of conflicts around in this. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. This is like hate, envy. Someone's shocked. You could be sneaking away from something. Okay, someone could be got. Someone could have got paid to sneak away from you, or to steal from you, or to lie to you. All right, this person is is because they were envious of you. They're in a picking up. Yeah, your creativity. They're they're envious of your creativity. Hell, this says because you're the high priestess, all right, and you're letting go of these burdens, all right. Someone is refusing to let go of something, you could be getting ready to move, all right, and you're doing it in secret, okay, or something's being illuminated here about a, a large sum of money. This could be child support, all right, all right. I have a feeling you're about to get some information. You could have proof of something. Or people are trying to get some sort of evidence on you so they don't have to give this back to you because they stole it. All right? Or they're refusing to give it to you. But you're protected. I feel like you do things by the book collective. Um, you know that you have deceitful people around you. And you just want a better life for yourself. Right? We're done with that bullshit. Right? The, this could be the a whole community of people doing this. All right? Making you feel rejected or, or left out. I just heard Artemis, so you could have Artemis working with you at this time, or you could work with Artemis at this time, all right? Uh, someone, or she's she's calling to you, all right? Because it just came through on the TV. My kid's watching YouTube videos, and it just popped on one of her cartoons. So um, she could want to work with you or trying to get your attention. But someone feels bored. I feel like someone could be bored, right? Uh Someone might want to tell you something. You could be their wish fulfillment or this is you. Okay, someone's been enlightened by something here, okay? And this is like what goes around, comes around. Someone wants to give what, what you give them. Like, um, it's equal, give and take. All right, or someone's get, someone's abundant. Um, I'm seeing the eight, the uh, infinity symbol here. This could be a partnership, all right? This is going to help you heal your heart. Look at it. It's going to make you feel whole again, Okay. And behind that is good news. Look at that. You're going to feel free. Something's over. This cycle is over. Okay? And behind that, it's over. The wheel is turning. I thought this was the world card when I looked at it real quick, but the world is right behind it. So something is over. The wheel is turning. This is your destiny. This is what's fated to happen, or this is putting you on the path to what you're destined for. Okay? And this could be marriage. This is per divine. All right. All right. Let me pull an angel message for you guys. Ask and receive. This is something you may have prayed for. Okay. Manifested. Bottom of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles was sit, sitting behind. It's a card I didn't pick up. So this is this could be, um, yeah, something that's going to make you feel really good. <laughs> she looks very, very satisfied, all right, abundant, grounded. And I feel like this is going to help your finances, too, when it comes to you being just happy because you, you manifest through your heart space, all right? Yeah, no need to worry. Just communicate clearly, it says. No need to worry. Communicate clearly. So someone might want to say something and speak something within the next few weeks. Romance and connections. Beautiful. I'm going to leave it right here. All right. I love you guys.